We propose a phase-based trajectory optimization framework for legged robots, which ensures the feasibility of translational dynamics and friction cone constraints throughout the entire trajectory. PBTO adjusts the phase durations during the optimization process, allowing both body movements and contact sequences to be simultaneously generated. In the previous method, dynamic constraints were applied at specific nodes spaced at equal time intervals to ensure dynamic feasibility. However, when the resolution of constraint enforcement is not sufficiently fine compared to the phase duration, the previous method may compromise dynamic feasibility within certain phases. If constraint enforcement is adapted to the phase duration, it can enhance the consistency of dynamic feasibility. We leverage the superposition property of translational dynamics to decompose the dynamics at each contact point and apply the translational dynamics in a phase-adaptive manner. In the following, we describe the proposed method in detail. Since the translational dynamics are governed by a linear ordinary differential equation, the solution can be obtained by superposition. First, we decompose gravity and the ground reaction forces acting at each contact point and apply the translational dynamics to each force and position component in a manner consistent with the corresponding phase. Then, by representing the forces using Bézier polynomials, we derive a closed-form expression that relates the force and position components. Finally, leveraging the linearity of the ODE, we superpose these components to obtain the robot's position, which is expressed in closed form as a function of the applied forces. Additionally, we leverage the convex hull property of Bézier polynomials to ensure that GRF always lie within the friction cone. Due to the non-linearity of angular dynamics, superposition of solutions is not applicable, and the constraint points cannot be adjusted. Therefore, the angular dynamics are constrained uniformly over time. But we construct a local chart based on the tangent space at the current point on SO3, ensuring a consistent representation of orientation. We propose a trajectory optimization framework that generates motion between a given initial and final state by augmenting dynamic constraints with kinematic constraints and an objective function. Performance was evaluated under a variety of randomized conditions for both the proposed framework and the baseline. To evaluate feasibility, we define a metric that quantifies the violation of the dynamics constraints. Unlike the baseline, the proposed framework consistently satisfies the translational dynamics. It also adheres to the friction cone constraints in all scenarios. The angular dynamics violation decreased, suggesting the effectiveness of our orientation representation. We present cases from each terrain where the difference in dynamics feasibility between our method and the baseline is notable. Our method more reliably maintains dynamic feasibility in scenarios where the baseline significantly violates dynamics. We compare the total external force with the rate of change of linear momentum over time. The proposed method ensures continuous satisfaction of the translational dynamics throughout the trajectory, whereas the baseline method enforces them only at uniformly spaced time points. Additionally, unlike the proposed method, the baseline occasionally yields a negative sum of GRFs which indicates a violation of the friction cone constraints. Through the analysis of the projected friction cone, the force profile plots, and the time series of the x to z directional force ratio, we observed that the proposed method adheres to the friction cone constraints throughout the motion, while the baseline trajectory fails to satisfy them. Finally, we tracked both our and the baseline hopping motions with a model predictive controller. In our case, the controller successfully performed the hopping motion. However, in the baseline case, the motion failed due to slipping caused by dynamics violation. Thank you for watching.